Hey guys, it's Andrea with Catch the Fire Worship Flags and this is the weekly for October 31st, 2018. How are you guys? I am in my car, not because I'm going anywhere, but I was noticing that a lot of people, I seem to be in their cars when they're doing their lives. And so I made a quick inquiry online to see why are people in their cars? And apparently it's for the good acoustics as well as the lighting. So, hey Rosie, you're the only one watching right now. So how's the lighting? Apparently this is supposed to be better than if I'm outside. Also, I am, it's cold and raining and I can't be outside and I did actually want to show you some some stuff so soon uh, regarding flagging so as soon as it's going to be a, a nice day yeah, I can barely dance in my car let alone flagging in my car so if you're just catching us now I'm in my car because of the beautiful lighting so hopefully that you're like wow she looks great that's because I'm in my car just like everybody else in there it's not because I'm so busy that I can't do anything else but I digress. How are you? If you so here is Rosie. She's on uh, back in the game. If you've noticed, it's been pretty quiet in the firecatcher's room and online because Rosie has taken a week off uh, being on social media and kind of curious about do you guys do it? Do you have a practice of kind of just unplugging? And that kind of brings me to my thought for the day just in terms of elevating your praise. I have been in the practice now, just started it of actually putting my phone away. I don't keep it by my bed and because I found that it was the first, it was the last thing I looked at and it was the first thing that I would pick up and so um, lo and behold, we actually have these things called alarm clocks if you should need one that you can actually have by your, by your bed. My husband is just gawking by the car and he's like wondering what the heck are you doing in the car? <laughs> anyway, uh, so it's been a practice of mine now to actually be in, the, in, have my phone away and because, and I was thinking about what Rosie was doing and she was, had been offline off just to, to actually recharge and it's the idea of linger and yeah, he's it, to linger with the Lord and if you want to elevate your praise the most like if you if there's something that you need we have to get out of get out of the idea that we have to be busy just put your phone away can you go for to a coffee shop and not pull out your phone can you actually practice the joy of silence and the practice of, of silence um, be still and know that I'm God. Be still and know is we actually have to leave room for thinking. And I've been mulling and, and working through Revelation 4, which is an incredibly short book. And it's been a few days that I've been, I've been, my practice in the morning is to write out scripture. So I'm almost done the old, the New Testament. And I try to do a, a one chapter a day and work through it that way but I've been on in Revelation 4 for several days because I get a few verses in and then I just want to linger there and I linger and I think on those things and I pray on those things and it causes me to worship it causes me to elevate my praise uh, because that's where I'm lingering so if you're not in the habit um, maybe take a fast not obviously not from fire catchers no, I'm just kidding if that's take a fast from from social media sometimes or just even put it down and and see what happens see and I'd love to hear back I, I actually haven't connected with Rosie but I do want to do that and I want to see what what her week was like uh, what's coming up so we've got today is the last day for identity collection it's the last day that you'll be able to get it also hidden treasures um, this the featured flag for October next month we're gonna start something new there's a lot that's coming up in November we've got a the children the biannual children's flag sale 
Uh, details will be in the next email and coming up I'll have some information about where you can pick that information up you will only be able to get $10 flags if you are part of the VIP email list I will have information for you in regards to that the next event is going to be fire catchers classroom on December or sorry November 17th and you belong here it's where the glory realm we're gonna be talking about the glory realm and then we're going to be starting a new collection coming up and Black Friday sale which if you've been with Catch the Fire for uh, any length of time you know that actually Black Friday weekend we're gonna extend it the weekend is going to be the best sale of the year so this is gonna be a great time for you to pick up some treats for yourself or for gifts uh, and so that's all coming in November and if that's not even enough we have the next fire catchers book club is going to be on November 30th the last Friday of the month we have a very special guest so we've in the past had three two authors join us talk about their books and then we're going to have a, a third our third offer is going to join us in the fire catchers class or book club on the 30th we're going to be reading encountering god encountering god through dance and it is sarah tana's book she is the dance pastor at bethel church and so she's going to be joining us in the book club discussion so that's really exciting um the so what's trending I sorry I want to talk about what's trending hidden treasures this month has been a very it's been a very very popular worship flag which is really awesome and I think today of all days Halloween I, I try to avoid talking about Halloween because it's such an explosive issue but regardless of where you stand on whether you trick-or-treat whether you don't whether you go to fall fe festivals or you don't uh, you do what's right for you you do what Holy Spirit says for you but of all nights we can all agree that there is darkness that is happening and whether what, what we do with that darkness but we are hidden treasures and you are a hidden treasure and so I think that is completely appropriate that that is the trending fl worship flag for the week and what else were we going to oh the gratitude challenge so how's it going with the gratitude challenge I've just it's it seems like you're still uh, you're still adding to it you're still commenting which is great I've actually found now we're we're a few weeks into it and I personally have found that that I am I think my mood is happier and it's not like I was a, a pessimistic or a, a, a person that was down and out all the time but even the practice of just making sure well what am I grateful for today and there sometimes they're deeper moments and sometimes they're just very light uh, and I've also just had several issue uh, days of just I'm just happy I'm just really grateful I'm I'm so grateful for what I have and so I would love to be able to hear from you guys uh, what has changed is anything changed in the with the gratitude challenge and I'd love to hear some testimonies and finally this is your number one tip I, I, for what to do before you perform with your worship flags and my number one tip is worship privately nothing greater than that before you are a public performer before you're a public worshiper you should be a private worshiper it comes what what you express publicly is what actually you've been fostering for privately for a long time and so it comes back to that linger leave room for God to speak to you in the silence and if our, we keep our minds busy all of the time with good things with ministry things with family things with work things number one tip is leave room for God linger there and worship so that's it um, we're gonna post this in the group and share it around so thanks Dion uh, I can hardly wait to hear what your testimonies are in in regards to these things what you think um, share in the notes comments and we'll, we'll get that going love you guys bye